500 years ago, most people didn't believe that the Earth revolved around the Sun. Right? It was blasphemous to say that. And 50 years ago, most people didn't actually believe that what we do on the ground affects the sky. And what we do on land affects the water. But now, most people, and we've reached that tipping point, recognize that. And so it's the change and the gradual change and how that then plays out in our industry is what I really want to make sure we can just not inhibit by that old thinking. Really for sustainability, everybody needs to talk about it, everybody needs to look at it. It doesn't have to be your self-identity. You don't need to live, eat, breathe it. You know, you don't need to have that as part of your, like, every day. But you do need to at least consider it. And so that's my biggest frustration is people tend to think, one, that either you're an equal person or you're not. Two, a hotel has to be green or not, that it's a yes, no thing. When really, it's just a wave of change that we need to bring about everybody. We have to think and be practical about what is, what's going to move the needle and what is really going to actually solve climate change. Because obviously climate change is the biggest issue. There's so many issues around sustainability, environmental, social issues, but climate change has to be number one. And we're kidding ourselves if we think it's not. And so the number one metric I'd like to see going forward is what percent of my energy at the hotel is generated from renewable sources. That needs to be at least 50% in my lifetime. It actually needs to be more toward 100 by 2050. But I think the, the mindset is some things are going to cost us more, some things are going to save us money, but we need to bucket it collectively in the, the sustainability lens, which is you know, some things guests care about. Guests care much more about waste now, which is why it's getting attention, than plastic and, and materials. And so what we like to see, and I, you know, that's the, the issue, is that sustainability really has this holistic view. Well, Greenview, we really want to be the catalyst. We want to be that bridge with the hotel industry and sustainability. We want to speak both those languages. Our business model, first and foremost, is we're a sustainability consulting and research firm, and we differentiate ourselves is that our base is the company and not the property. So we consult for the hotel companies, the, the brands, the operators, the owners, at that company level on sustainability strategy, on programs, data, and reporting. And so we, we work within that niche, and we've had over 10 years of experience in it. The second is really the other advantage of sustainability, which the basic premise is we can't solve it ourselves. It's a problem and an issue, a challenge, sustainable development that everybody needs to collectively do. And so that means that we need collaborative solutions. So we at Greenview have actually found collaborative solutions. We keep seeking what are the things that we can do that bring the industry together they win and we win. We started that with common metrics, common measurement on carbon, benchmarking of carbon. We started that then with the Hotel Owners for Tomorrow Coalition to help actually get the dialogue going more. If we can have, you know, get the credit for planting the seed, then uh, one day we get to see the beautiful trees grow. Let's not kid ourselves. We're here to network. Let's do networking right. What I like is the actual the intro sessions on how to network better. You come out knowing everybody, knowing more people. I personally would probably not gravitate toward the collective industry representation and knowledge body that I would here because I'm talking with people who sell lights, I'm talking with people who design hotels, architects, developers, owners. And then finally, the most you know, interesting thing to me about Top Hotel is how much you really, really value that cocktail at the end of the day. Because it's like, look, we've been hanging out, we've been bonding together, we've been in this room, let's have a drink, we deserve it. And this is F&B, this is hospitality, so you always get some great cocktails.